So my name is Roger Bergel. I'm the director of a small museum in, in Zurich that addresses global trade and global trade routes. And there is no paradigm, I mean, how to do it. There's no methodology. And I'm here, I mean, to, to, to sketch out a methodology together with the students. Being a GGS was great. I mean, the students are great. I mean, they come from all walks of life and I could actually throw my problems at them. So they're quite mature. I mean, they want something from you. And um, I mean, at this stage of my career, I think this is great. I mean, not just to teach or to lecture, but get my major input from them. I mean, this has become my way of teaching. This week at EGS, we worked on objects that don't belong on artifacts that don't fit the established pattern of Western museology. So objects that are not Chinese, not Islamic, not European, but, uh, but all of it somehow and don't fit. I was thinking a lot about Ilya Kabakov's The Man Who Flew Into Space from his apartment. Yes. <laughs> and uh, when you were showing the curation of what you did, yeah. um, it reminded me a lot of what uh, he was doing. Was that an inspiration for you or other installation artists? I mean, the, the, the inspiration comes mainly from artists. Yeah, I mean, it comes from messing things up. But of course, I mean, when you have uh, also an educational ambition, I mean, if you are running a museum, then you also have to explain why you are doing this. So also you also have to bring alternative narratives of history, of politics, um, of, of global modernity, I mean, to the people. We also spoke about the juxtapositions of Fred Wilson's Mining the Museum. Mm -hmm. Can you speak a little bit about the juxtapositions that are at work uh, within your curation? I mean, Fred, uh, people like Fred Wilson were an important uh, uh, source of, of, of inspiration. And the juxtapositions, I mean, are always meant to try something out. And you, you never know if it will succeed. And this is quite risky. I think it's uh, probably a bit easier for an artist because you can always say it's art if it's not understood. But this is an excuse I cannot have as a museum director.